Gachagua alisema ya kwamba wewe kama zutoki hii mahali na hii mahali wewe wakikupata mbele atakurudisha nyuma. Sasa hii ukipatiwa 200 200 hapo unabeba bana hapa unajifanya uko dar ya You are not there gentlemen. So I want to be categorical on other 45 tribes that you are not part of government and so you must join Raila Molo Dinga for the future of Kenya. Yes. Kwa kunipatia hii nafasi ndio hii nimeanza. Ah uh, huyo mtu anapiga kelele anyamaze kuongea hapa mbandani si rahisi. Sawa. So number one, I want to talk about the whether the government should build houses or they should build industries. Mr. Speaker, the government is not planning to build either of those. The government of William Ruto is not planning to build industries. Ama they are not planning to build Imamboya houses. These are affordable houses. I'm telling you that Akuna Mutiayote Apa. When you may part of Isoma affordable houses, Ama you are cousin, Akuna. How can buying a house at 5 million be affordable housing? 5 million. Nani akona 5 million apa? 2? 500,000? Eh, mwendo wazimu wako nayo huko nyuma. Lakini, hapa <laughs> ndani akuna mwenye ako nayo. Hapa ndani akuna mwenye nayo. So, a local man, a man without money, is not, cannot buy a house of 5 million. So, an individual telling you that ununue nyumba ya 5 million, 10 million, 20 million at hiyo ni affordable housing hiyo ni uongo isiyokuwa na kifani on question of industries saa hii bwana william kipchirchiri samoi ya rapruto anasema kwamba anataka ku privatize bwana mr speaker utaongea na naongea okay uh, what i'm saying is this william ruto Sai wants to privatize the national industries. Mumias Sugar is one of them that is planning to privatize. Sasa hii mambo yenu ya kusema kwamba ataongeza ma industry hapa Kenya inatoka wapi? Itatoka wapi? So hizi ni mambo mnaambiwa tu hapa chini ya miti, hapa chini ya miti, hapa kwa kiwanja, mnaambiwa kwamba mtapatiwa industry. Kwa kampeni muta, muliambiwa mnatolewa chini mnapelekwa juu. Ati mutapatiwa uh, uh, milioni miatano. Bilioni miatano. Na naona kwamba nyinyi mmepatiwa 500 bob kila mtu wapa. Hapa hapa mmepatiwa 500 bob. Yes. So we will not allow that. And uh, the person who has brought that uh, mjadala, that debate in this house is a moon. And I want to know this person. Claiming that we, uh, William Ruto wants to build industry. Number two, the question of Gachagua. Gachagua, that is the policy of government. When Gachagua is speaking, that's the policy of government. So, so long as you know very well that you are not coming from those two tribes, you are not part of government. That's the policy of the government. So that moment you are thinking that you are carrying banners here, that you are part of government, you are not. So long as you are not coming from those tribes. And Gachagua was very categorical on that. Gachagua alisema ya kwamba, wewe kama zutoki hii mahali na hii mahali, wewe wakikupata mbele, atakurudisha nyuma. Saa hii ukipatiwa miambili miambili hapo, unabeba bana hapa, unajifanya uko dar ya silo. You are not there, gentlemen. So I want to be categorical on other 45 tribes that you are not part of government. And so you must join Raila Molo Dinga for the future of Kenya. Yes. Yes. You yes. must know that. You all of you, I'm talking yes. to all of you. Yes. So long as you are not coming from that tribe. Yes. And you must listen to me because if you can't listen to me, you are not listening to Raila Molo Dinga. <laughs> so number three, uh, I'm to let me talk uh, about uh, Musali Amudavadi. Musali Amudavadi has been in this world for the last 60 years. For the last six, he is remaining with around 10 years, then we, maybe, we don't know where he will go, but he's remaining with 10 years. So in the last 60 years, he has been the, dep the deputy prime minister, the vice president, the minister of local government, the minister of some other things, and finance. And finance. What we can remember Mudavadi with in finance 
is Golden Bank scandal in 1994. The payment of Golden Bank scandal in 1994 was done by Musali Amdavadi. That was the highest haste ever done, 500 billion in 1994. How much is that uh, at the moment? If you exchange it, that's trillions of money. Yes. In, in 2008, 2009, we can only remember Mdavadi of selling Makaburini. And instead, instead, this individual, Apeleku Wajela, wakachukua kijana muze mwingine hapa central, wakakufa kwa jela. We have never forgotten that. We have never forgotten that. So, remembering Musali Mdavadi on positive things, are not there. When we are remembering Salem Dabadi, when he was Minister of uh, Cooperative in 1997, what did he do? By, by Kenya Poster. So, so when we are discussing Salem Dabadi with the serious people, I am not expecting serious minded people discussing Salem Dabadi on a serious platform like this and claiming that Salem Dabadi is doing anything, that is adding anything, any value in this Republic of Kenya. So, Anytime you are talking about Musali Amdavadi with the development alongside, you are either mediocre, an average individual, or something there in between. Hang on. I'm remaining with three minutes. So uh, that is that's about Musali Amdavadi, Mr. Speaker. So uh, I'm remaining with one day. Uh, finally, Mr. Speaker, let me talk about. Uh, the effects of Railam Odinga ultimatum. The ikifika sakumi na mbili na nusu ikitu inafungwa. So let me talk. Yes. So, so the ultimatum of Railam Odinga. Sai kama sai kama umeona ya kwamba Railam Odinga is giving ultimatums. He is fighting for you. He is fighting for all of you. Raila Molo Dinga is fighting for all of you. So if you are thinking that you know much than Raila Molo Dinga, you, we are asking you, Ukai Nyumbani, you don't have rights to oppose Raila Molo Dinga. Whenever I'm, I'm talking about Raila Molo Dinga, there are some uh, fellas who are heckling me. And you cannot tackle me when I'm talking about Raila Molo Dinga. I am the speaker, I am the speaker. So, so it is 6.30, people are closing. So, I'm talking of Maraila.